And in Taylor County, it's been one week since tornadoes hit Abilene, the big country and Concho Valley. Cake Texas reporter Nick Bradshaw spoke with the lady that now calls a hotel home. One week since an E2 tornado ripped through parts of Abilene. Well, I've lived here 13 years. Residents are waking up to severe damage, damage that they never expected would happen. And, uh, you know, it was home. Jill Sandy's home, once full of memories. And a two by four came through the window. Now boxed up. A generator now running power has friends help her pack. It's condemned now, so we're going we're to have to move out and try to find some other place. 13 years she lived here along South 6. What used to be a place for evening walks, now. Quiet. It's not joyful. Every time we walk out the door, we just can't believe it happened. Leticia Sanders was home with her family when the tornado hit. It was crazy. I never thought anything could happen. When it's a word used lightly, but she's one of the lucky ones. Little damage to her home and one of the few that didn't have to leave. One lady and her baby. She just had a baby and it was just them at home. On every other Memorial Day weekend, this home would have the red, white and blue flying. Within seconds, it looks more like a war zone. <laughs> I it is weird, isn't I'm sorry, it? I'm so sweaty. <laughs> In these hard moments, laughter can be the best medicine. It's crazy how that for Jill. Now her life is in pieces. I said it's not much, but I wanted to help. Thank you. I sure another. appreciate it. It's well, moments like this of giving that helps her forget the pain of packing up 13 years. There's a lot of memories here with the grandkids. But memories can never be destroyed by Mother Nature. And now she's looking for a new place to call home. A lot of people had it a whole lot worse than we did. Nick Bradshaw, KTexas News.